Hi and welcome back to another vlog on um, my 1977 Mini Restoration. In this vlog today, um, I'm going to tackle the, the metal work on the car. So what I'm going to be doing is making um, a start, actually peeling these panels back. I've had a quick five minutes before I started recording and just cleaned up the, the paintwork here to hopefully try and reveal where the spot welds are. It's not very easy. It's not very easy there due to the corrosion and what have you. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll get there. I'll give them this a clean as well. I can see where most of these spot welds are, so that should hopefully peel off quite easily. I've done the same here on the hinge pillar. No, this is a hinge pillar here at the back. This is actually the outer A post. And you can see where it's spot welded onto the hinge post and the corrosion there. And found more filler down here. And the steps totally knackered as you can see. But yeah, we'll get there. Again, I've um, ground off the paint along the top of the step here to hopefully see where all the spot welds are. I mean, I'm replacing the floor anyway, but I don't want to hack it to death too much. Um, I want to obviously remove the complete step and I'll be removing the sill as well um, so I can fit the new part and again I've cleaned up the quarter panel here I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to take this off um, because I don't think this will slide back if it's just spot welded here and here we'll get away with it hopefully if not, um, I'll need to try and take this quarter panel off. Um, the panel itself's not too bad. Quarter panel. There's a bit of rust there and there. A hole there that can get welded. And rust there and there, so... We'll see. I mean, it's knackered at the bottom here. A funny feeling that's going to have to get changed. The other side's definitely getting changed. I um, also went and picked up some new abrasive wheels, I've got another wire wheel, you know, because as you can see that one's lost all its, all its metal bits, picked up some more abrasive pads and bought a new one of these, the one that I've got is just about done so that's for cleaning off paint, so yeah that's where we're at got the new panels over here, they're ready to go on and the rest of them are hanging up so yeah what I'll do now is I'll put you in a fixed position and then um, crack on now before we get started what I'm going to do is put a bit of bracing bar on it just this stuff here it's um, just little bits of tubing I'm going to brace that across the across the door aperture and hope that um, it helps keep the car keep the car square. So we'll get started on that.
Right, let's stop for a breather. Um, I had to take a quick phone call there from my pal. Um, but yeah, I've started to cut back the, the layers of metal here just to see how many patches are on the floor. And it looks like it's been patched twice. You know, that, that there may be the original floor at the back. But um, there's a patch just there. That looks like another patch just under there. You know, um, that's part of that patch. And there's a bit of shitty old metal there. So you can see how crusty it is, especially in this corner. So no doubt the other corner that'll be the that'll probably be the exact same. You know. So yeah. This is where we're at. I'm gonna cut the sill off it. Cut that off. And that's actually a heritage sill, but it has got some some signs of rot in it, so I don't think I'll bother trying to save it. You know, we'll just weak it out because these floor pans that I ordered from M Machine, they um, they come with cells apparently. You know, I'm just hoping that they're decent looking cells and look like these and not the long ones and what have you. They certainly won't be cover cells anyway, that's for sure. And if I don't like them, I'll just take them off and put on heritage songs. You know. So yeah, this is where we're at at the moment. Doesn't look too pretty under here. So um, we'll just carry on and get a little bit more chopped out and see if I can offer up the inner ring. Right, right that's us down to the patch, this is the original pan here and this is where it's been patched and you can see that's just a dog's dinner man, absolute dog's dinner, it's not very pretty. You can see all the cutting that I've done here. And there's nothing. Nothing in here. You can see. I haven't even got through. You know, um, I was always told by my mate Dave, God rest his soul, because he's no longer here. Um, that when you're doing restorations or even patch ups on on cars, cut the rot out and then weld a new piece in. Never weld metal over rust because it just makes it rust even more. You know, um, and that's what's obviously been done here on a couple of occasions. Um, it had two or three cells on it when I done that cell about five or six years ago. So um, 
it's not surprising that that's got more more layers of metal in it here, you know. So yeah, let's get the rest of this crap off and carry on. that part of the post-mortem complete. Um, I think this original panel ends just here. Um, that looks like where it comes to an end. That's all ragged under there. And then all this has been replaced. That's probably part of the original floor. And then they slid this piece of metal on. Out of it. And I've slid this piece of metal on and welded that in because that looks like a dog's dinner from the inside as well. Um, so I'll probably have a little patch to make for here so it's not too bad, you know. As you can see, with all that. Clutch. Here is where um, I put a new piece in up and around. So if I was to cut that out, it'd be a big gaping hole in the floor. So basically stuck another floor pan in it at the front, which wasn't uncommon in the 80s and 90s. You know, folk done a lot of things to keep these cars on the road. Yeah. So I think I might get another ring and try that one for size. See how that goes. But obviously I'll need to dress all this up and give it a clean. So we're pillarless now. So far this is all the junk. It's lying in the gar on the garage floor. There's a fair amount, yeah. As you can see. It's old. The old day post. And that's completely rotten. Totally not out of there, rotten. Unbelievable. So I'll need to... I'll need to salvage this part of it, or make... I'll probably just make a... a new part, because that's kind of... kind of rotten there. This didn't come with the... 
M machine panel but I've noticed that it comes with the heritage panels and I think there was another bit here for the dash rail, lower dash rail so I'll probably have to make that section as well. But yeah I mean that's that's completely rotten man. Totally and utterly. Right, I'll start giving the edges up here a clean up and um, dress them back with the dolly so that we can accept uh, the new inner ring to it. If I can find my glasses, here we are.
I lost a little bit of footage on the, the end of the last clip there. The, the camera ran out of memory. Well, the card and the camera ran out of memory. And um, I obviously stopped recording. In saying that, we didn't lose too much footage because um, I was more or less wrapping up anyway. And that was a good, that was a good couple of hours worth of work there. Um, and the camera was just recording constantly. Hence how I speed all that rubbish up and cut bits and bobs out, you know. Especially if I job's taking too long. Um, yeah, where are we? Right, the, with the car being on the jig and the front inner wing removed, it caused, it caused the bulkhead to twist a little. And um, the car was out of line. The front of the car was out of alignment, just ever so slightly. Um, the, the replacement in the ring wasn't fitting, as you seen there on the on the video, but in um, high speed. Uh, so my solution to that was to take the car off the jig. Um, the jig's still attached to the car, but the jig isn't supporting the car at the moment. I've got a trestle at the back of the car underneath it and I've got a big straight piece of wood on a jack supporting the front of it. And as soon as I jacked the car up it came back into alignment, you know. So um, I'll be leaving the car on the jack and the supports until I weld that up now obviously. Um, because I don't want to faff about with it again, I've got it in the position that I want it in, so I'll leave it at that and get that welded up in the next vlog. But I'll give you a little tour of what I've done. If I pick the camera up. Right, I've fitted the... Uh, well, it's not fitted, but it's only held in place with these little clamps. Doorstep. I've still to cut the panel here to make it fit in. I've got a funny feeling I'm going to have to take this um, quarter panel off. I'll probably just cut a, cut a hole to slide that in. Because it, it's rotting down there. I know it's only a little bit of rot, but it's rotting at the seam as well. You know, but I don't want to cut too much out of the car. That's the thing. So I'll probably just cut a wee section out of that just now. Weld that. Weld all this in, make it strong, and then then tackle this. But anyway, I've got the the step just held in with these clamps, like I've said. The hinge panels in. Again, it's all just held in with clamps, so it's actually held in with bolts on this shin. Um, and I painted it orange, as you seen in the last vlog. And the inner wing, that's um, in position. That's I think that's roughly where it goes anyway. Um, it's not far away at that. This part here, I've just to bend, bend this over, and with the holes that, that's in it that I drilled out the spot welds with, I'll use them and fill them back up to the inner wing. So yeah, that's basically where we're at. I'm going to let you see the support on the underside. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. It's just a piece of wood on a dodgy jack holding the car up. And that side's resting on the on the trestle. You know, and as you can see the the jig's well off the ground. I mean that'll just spin. So yeah, that's where we're at. Um, I know this has been a long one. I do apologise for that. My videos are too long. Just tell me and I'll make them shorter. And I'll cut a lot of stuff out of it. So, on that note guys. If you've made it this far, once again, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you in my next vlog. Cheers for now.